The Doncaster Shield is next. This is a two mile and three furlong 0 to 75 class six handicap for all the older horses. And let's take a look at the list. Most of these have had a win this season. I think Dancing Rose for Satyam Sandra Sagram at the top. The Big Hard for Obi Wan. Meg Mucklebones, Martin Leadham. Harlem Raw, Stu Gray. Alicia Ransom, Thomas Rogers, and the bottom two, Louise and Winston, who quite often race together for Matt Cooper. They're a field of seven. No doubt this will be the first of umpteen long distance races this week. And away they go. A little bit slow to go was Winston, but plenty of time to make up for it. And Louise has gone off into an early lead, but immediately collared by Dancing Rose, who's now going to take it up. And here comes Winston, as usual, the slow starting horse burst through to claim the lead within a furlong. So it's Winston then who's gone on from stablemate Louise in second, then Dancing Rose and Meg Mucklebones. Then comes Harlem Raw. Uh, unless you ran some of the big hearth after that one. So three races so far today. And Satyam and Stu Grab both had winners. Are in this going for a going for a second. Kevin Meehan won the third race. The big guns yet to get going in this final week of the season. Battle for the title between Vinnie Gerard and John Morgan. We'll keep our eye on that one. When things start to happen for the top stables, it's been the Lower end that have been the order of the day so far today. And Winston is in the lead. Although, having said that, Sat Satyam has notched up that many winners this season that he's guaranteed himself a place in the top ten. All flat trainers, which is no mean feat for somebody who doesn't play every season. Hopefully, he'll be back next year and not have to have a season off like he sometimes has to do. But it's Winston in front, whenever next season may be. If ever season maybe. So Winston's in front then from Louise in second. Then Dancing Rose is third. Harlem Roar is fourth. Then Meg Mucklebones and Lessia Ransom and finally the big hearth on the inside for the man that flies the flag for the United States. These I think is the only American trainer we've got left. There were quite a few around when I first arrived. There were some Canadians as well. I think we're pretty low on the uh, overseas trainers these days. Satyam, of course, like Rod McClure's in New Zealand. Craig Allen's also in New Zealand. He's uh, in and out. He's got a train at the moment. Some weeks he's in, some weeks he's out. Busy with his chicken racing. And one or two over in Ireland, but all our sort of well, it's like European people have gone, aren't they? The people from Germany and Norway and France and all sorts of places at one point. They seem to have all fallen by the wayside. Brexit. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, Winston's in the lead, well clear of Louise in second. Harlem Raw is in third, even Stu Gray's not a European trainer anymore, he's come back to England. <laughs> comes the big earth, I don't think he wanted to, but there you go. I want to be back over there like a shot if he can. And it's Meg Mucklebones after that one, and then Dancing Rose with Alessia Ransom, just the back marker. Winston's in front. Big half in second and Meg Mucklebone's third and Louise is fourth. Harlem Roar and Dancing Rose and Alessia Ransom is the back marker. They're racing down towards the final five and a half furlongs. And Winston continues to lead from the big half. Probably deserves a win that one. I think he's been second and third quite a lot this season. Still seems to be really high in the weights. Meg Mucklebone's getting weight from it in third place. It's definitely beaten at least twice this season. Then Dancing Rose, the top weight, and Alessia Ransom's after that one. That one's now starting to make a bit of a forward move. Harlem Raw is just struggling a bit, and Louise is the back marker. Also getting a little bit out of pace, but they've got three furlongs still to go, and Winston, as usual, now gives way to the others, and Alessia Ransom and Meg Mucklebones go by. The big half is still sitting quietly on that one, and... Not asked for anything from Dancing Rose yet either. Now Harlem Raw is starting to run on, but with two furlongs to go, Meg Mucklebones has hit the front and there's quite a length clear of Alessia Ransom in second. The big half now starting to get going on the inside. Also, Dancing Rose being unleashed for a run. Slowly getting there is Harlem Raw. Meg Mucklebones is being collared there by the big half on the inside as they come inside the final half furlong. Meg Mucklebones sticking her head out. The big half is trying to fight back and trying to get up, and the big half is finally getting his head in front. And I think the big half is going to take it and overdue success for that one. Meg Mucklebones second, Alessia Ransom third. And all the way back to the Matt Cooper pair, Louise and Winston. 
I hope he doesn't breed them two together, they'll probably finish a third on behind everybody else. I'm only joking. Anyway, it's the big half that takes it. That's been well overdue, that win for Obi-Wan. Been knocking on the door a lot this season, that one. Meg Mucklebone second. For Martin Lee, of Alessia Ransom for Thomas Rogers was third. Dancing Rose for Satyam Sandra Sagram was fourth. And Harlem Raw for Stu Gray was fifth. <laughs>